Welcome to Late Night Stocks. This week was another great week for CureVac shareholders. Let me briefly explain the CureVac to newcomers. CureVac is a German, wait for, clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. The company became popular because of its mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccine candidate, which we will talk about a bit later. You have probably a lot of questions in your mind, such as, should I sell, buy the dip, when I will be rich, what should I eat for the lunch? You should watch the video till the end before you make your own decision. Please give a like to support the video and also our channel. If you are ready, let's begin. According to Reuters, European Union regulator doesn't expect approval for CureVac vaccine before August. German Health Minister Jens Spahn made an update on Monday 7th June 2021 about the CureVac COVID-19 vaccine approval process and informed the press about the delay. Jens Spahn was disappointed and German government was no longer expecting the vaccine would be ready to be used in the current vaccination campaign, which targets to vaccinate all German adults. The health ministry, the vaccine maker CureVac and European medicines agency avoided to commenting on it. Do you, do you regret, I, I, do you, do you you regret, like do you regret your comments? <laughs> Boris made it more funny. After this news, the stock price got a sell-off and slumped about 16% during the week, but still 20% up to this year. The RSA index decreased to 40 on Friday, which was 31 as the lowest level since the IPO. The stock price will probably test its dip points during the upcoming weeks. When we look at the technical analysis, technical indicators shows a strong buy. They can not read newspapers or watch the videos about companies. We have to update our sales and manufacturing numbers to predict the growth and future stock price potential. The company has recently announced Q1 2021 earnings. The highlights were first and second generation COVID-19 vaccines and cash position. The advantage of the first generation COVID-19 vaccine is less dosage and being able to store at standard refrigerator temperature. This vaccine probably developed against first variants of coronavirus. The second generation targets new variants such as UK and Brazil. The first clinical trials for the second generation vaccine is expected to start in Q3 2021. Money, money, money must be funny. They had 1.5 billion euros cash at the end of the Q1 2021 and pre-tax loss was 112.2 million euros. Long story short, with this cash position they can keep developing and manufacture the vaccine candidates in short and mid-term. Let's have a look at what we calculated for CureVac in our first video. The company had expected to produce 300 million doses this year. When we get the vaccine price per dose $12, we could expect to $3.6 billion in revenues. We took the profit margin 25%, which was actually much lower than its mRNA-based vaccine rivals, namely BioNTech and Moderna. We will update this in upcoming tables. We took the P-E ratio of 30 and expected to $145 stock price in Q1 2022, for the best case. When we did the similar calculations and took the P-E ratio 20 which was a forward P ratio, we reached $385 future stock price potential for the end of the upcoming year. The company was expecting to get the approval in May or early June and manufactured 300 million doses for this year, namely in 6 months. It makes 50 million doses per month. Now it seems not possible to get the approval before August. If they can start to produce and distribute the vaccines in September, they can up to deliver 200 million doses in this year. As we see from its rivals, the profit margin was about 50%. In this case, expected net profit becomes 1.2 billion dollars. If we get the P ratio 15, such as a reasonable number, the market cap will be 18 billion dollars next year. Current market cap is also about 18 billion dollars, 
which shows the investors have already priced possible vaccine revenues. Let's update the numbers for next year. They can still produce 1 billion doses next year. If we do the similar calculations, the company can earn 6 billion dollars at the end of next year. If we get the P ratio 15 again, market cap will be 90 billion dollars. This is a huge number. According to the this calculation, the company has still 5x potential in upcoming years. Please leave your comment about the calculation in the comments below the video. As I mentioned previously in the video, CureVac is not anymore in the current vaccination campaign and efficacy results have yet to be published. Health Minister Jens Spahn said that once the vaccine is greenlit, they will include CureVac in campaign. European Union ordered 225 million with optional 180 million doses last year. This year, CureVac's sales team doesn't have to do lots of things but the next year is completely unclear. The European Union has already ordered 1.8 billion doses for upcoming two years, which makes the European Union vaccine market tough for new players. The management is smart enough to see that and targets developing countries, mainly in Latin America, such as Mexico, Dominican Republic, Panama, Colombia, Peru and Argentina. The problem is, neither the market nor the technology. The board and CEO of CureVac can't excite me. They are almost one year behind BioNTech. The COVID-19 pandemic is a historic opportunity for such a companies. Most of the vaccine makers such as Moderna and BioNTech brought their first products in the market. These companies plan to combine the seasonal influenza vaccine with COVID-19 vaccine. CureVac seems to fall behind also in this race. When you buy the shares of a company, you bet on a lot of things, such as the industry, growth potential and the management. I don't understand why, but the CureVac board seems to lack of ambition. I think last year they had financial difficulties to find their COVID-19 vaccine project and made an IPO. Now they have a lot of cash, but the situation is similar. They are losing their market position day by day. In my opinion, CureVac is not the best bet on vaccine makers. You can also check our playlist to compare them with numbers. Until the company gets approval and delivers vaccines, we will see a lot of stock price fluctuations. CureVac has still a lot of potential for upcoming years. If they can manufacture 1 billion doses next year, they can earn lots of money and will become a profitable company. mRNA technology has a good reputation so far and the company can take advantage of it. They can reinvest their earnings in pipeline projects. Long story short, you are betting on the management now. If you think that the company will do what they promise, you can hold your position or become a shareholder. Please don't forget to do your own research. In my opinion, the most important thing in the stock market is saving money despite earning lots of money. My advice would be to you, hold your horses and look at the numbers. Please don't forget to give a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Until next time, Arvederci.